As you can see the, the pair of eyes. This is deep space. And that white thing is the, the cargo bay of the space shuttle. In this mission, they were fixing to go on the orbit to go land the space shuttle when they noticed there was a, a pulsating light behind the space shuttle. So they moved the camera to see what was the deal, as if it was a space debris or so this is what they saw, this thing right here. It is amazing that that object, that's what they saw, this object. It was pulsating and stuff. So I noticed the outlines. As I was seeing in the dark, all these outlines while this light was pulsating, so I started I brought out the, the screen and after recording the video, I play it slower and that's what it's showing. All these figures. Look, a pair of eyes, giant pair of eyes, but there is another face here, another pair of eyes. Oh, it's everywhere. And these are like structures. You can see columns and they go everywhere. It's just like the same thing that our Peter now saw in, on the moon in the Apollo 8 image. The moon is your worst nightmare. So check this out. This is what what they gonna what is, is the camera recorded behind the space shuttle? This is deep space. This is not the ground or anything like that. So the images you're seeing are from deep space. These things are like transparent, but they are very visible. I mean, you, you have to be blind not to see these things. And you can see that the the structure doesn't move if it was just a, a mirage or the thing would be changing shape com constantly it would be just a little square pixelation but no these are no pixels this is what you're looking at faces structures look at that it's all the structures it's like you're looking into another world. And it's like it's vibrating. But it doesn't change the shape. It's always that was the moment that they had the camera looking at the object. This is like few minutes two or three minutes of footage, but I play it slower to be able to see the structure, to show the structures more clearly. I mean, you cannot miss this. This is it's right there, it's what it is. The faces, look at that. Eyes. It's the same thing we see on every planet and moon, but it's, this is in space. 
So my question is, what is a space then? Look at that dinosaurus looking thing right there, this reptile looking. And it changed expression, it's like, it's a living thing. Ah, that's the part that is hard to swallow, that, to understand. Well, what the hell is this? Look at the eyes. I mean, it's, this is a very hard thing to think about. And then they show, this is from the program NASA Unexplained Files. And they show the STS-75, that mission where the theater broke off, the theater incident. And now I know that it was one of those uh, UFO that broke off the cable that was holding the, the satellite to the shuttle. Because it, it, the object just passed one second before the cable snapped, and then it came back down to, to check for some reason. It just came back down, the same object, a small disc. So, and it's, it's it's obvious, as soon as the satellite drifted away, the, all these gigantic objects appear and start checking the satellite out. That satellite was built to create electricity from absorbing electricity from the vacuum, electromagnetic energy which is what Tesla proposed. And sure enough, the thing was producing current, a lot of current, electricity. And that's why those entities were interested in seeing what that technology was. And they appear in the thousands, so that means that they were like, oh shit, the humans found out how to create electromagnetic energy from the vacuum. So they're making a lot of progress. So, all you have to do is put the two and two together. How many civilizations have disappeared after they reached certain level of technology, Atlantis, Lemuria, Mu, Nadam Madol, the Chachapoyas in Peru, they all disappear, unexplicable, the Mayas. Apparently this entity had wiped out every single civilization human civilization when they reach too much technological advance they fear that we become a threat to them that's what I think and the moon the moon is a control center for earth they use the moon electromagnetic antenna there to control our minds keep us always a world divided. They have two enormous transceivers with a huge antenna, I've seen them. The antenna has like a snake heads or reptile heads on the tip in two bright places on the moon. Why the moon always face Earth the same size where those antennas are? That's the real deal, that's what it is. These entities, the Gnostics, call them Archons. They say there were some kind of dark reptilian entities that live in, the, in a realm that was right 
next to ours. Look at that eye. That enormous eyes. Look at that. And then look at the other face right there, or faces. It's just a constant vibrational deal. They don't change. It just keep vibrating and this is it's like a living structure. It's, you can see those other structures, but they are like alive and vibrating. So, and they, 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 the Russian cosmonauts say that they produce, they make these enormous electron, uh, electrical storms to to go and because lightning produces antimatter right on the top, closer to the ionosphere. So he said that every time there is a major electromagnetic storm, there will be at least 200 ships refueling from that. And sure enough, I have seen all these in hurricanes, and oh my God, those are even better. And you can see these enormous objects camouflage as clouds. And clouds with geometrical patterns. That, that's impossible. No cloud can look like that. Tubular and rectangular and with perfect angles and shit. No. Clouds are puffy and roundish and, and fluffy. No, these clouds are like colors clouds that are like real smooth and have rectangular corners, 90 degree corners and you know, triangular shapes. Clouds are not like that, the normal clouds. Dr. Begum was correct. Look at this thing, he has a mouth. It's like a dinosaur head right here. Look at the eyes. But it has little faces in each part of it. This is a, like all the monuments that they build in planets and moons. The same thing. <clears throat> a face within a face within a face. Just like what R. Peter Nell saying, the moon is your worst nightmare. Anybody that wants to know and learn how, what, what the patterns are, how they build the things, you have to watch that video. The moon is your worst nightmare. And to know the truth, you gotta watch Dream Makers of Saturn and, dream, and read the book by Dr. Norman Bergrum. He was an ex-scientist from NASA in the Voyager 1 and 2 program. He wrote, look at the eyes right there. Look at that big reptile head. Boom, and another one right here, look at that. But he, and he has the eyes right there, but he has other heads right it's just all heads everywhere just like the monuments on the moon <clears throat> when you really look at the whole thing it's just one gigantic work of art with faces their face narcissistic people do that and narcissistic people are really dangerous because they can't stand somebody getting better than them or looking better or <clears throat> oh no I am better than you I tell you what to do you do what I say and that's the end the best the jealous the envy the all the worst traits are in a narcissistic personality 
Those are the people that I...